a, a Mississauga native named Jackie Thomas who told her story about moving out of Mississauga to a suburb of Edmonton, hating every second of it and coming back, <laughs> has gone completely viral across the country For days. after she told her story in Toronto life. And basically, everyone in the country is chiming in on this, so why not go to the source? Jackie Thomas <laughs> is joining us live this morning. So what's new, Jackie? How you doing? Hi, Jackie. I had your back. Let the record show. Wow. All right, so... You <laughs> let her say hi yet, and you didn't Hi, know. Jackie. Wow. So, Jackie, let's... Hey, Dina. Oh, yeah. Thanks kissing, for having my back. Yeah, yeah, kissing yeah. up already. Yeah, you, she didn't say hi yet. No, she didn't say hi. Cool. All right, Jackie, before we do anything, uh, a lot of people have chimed in on this on social, and some of it has not been very kind. Uh, I want to give you a minute here off the front. If you want to respond or clear the air about anything, please go ahead. Absolutely. I appreciate you guys. You guys made me viral. Um, <laughs> I'm good. You have time. I don't have that kind of time. I just did this small, the interview, and I never expected it to get like this. A lot of people don't know me, and I understand that this is the price to pay. So it is what it is. Jackie, what up? Okay, so this kind of came out. <laughs> let's be real. Jackie hit me with the DM and was like, Devo, what I ever do to you? And I said, listen, I read this article and, and what was put out by you, which you approved, I assume, right? I approved the article. I did it. It's just, of course, like this is this is news, so we have to put a fun spin, right? End of day, this is entertainment. No, not a fun <laughs> spin. Would you say, because what you were seeing on social media, did you think it would cause this reaction? Because the first thing that was trending was Cactus Club, which to me was hilarious. Still is. Yeah, still that's is. wild. Of the entire thing of the article, the wildest part is that restaurant was what was trending that people took away they from it. They should give you, like, free food for the year. Well, that was like a lot of free advertising. advertising. I'll be reaching out to them. Okay. I'll be reaching out yes. to them. Yes. I you gave them ambassador. a lot of money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you need to be an ambassador. Um, I never... The fact that Cactus Club is trending just showed me that people didn't read the article. And there was so many other points. So the fact that Cactus that, the restaurant is trending. I'm tripping out here. Okay, that well, that, well no, Jackie, I think a lot of people read the article, yeah. though, is the issue. So, I think, so yeah. here's... Like here's, I said, no, I understand yeah, that, but as yeah. I said, that was one line so in here's, the whole article. Here's what I <laughs> think. At some point after this article, did anybody say to you, hey, I could have told you that without you moving to Edmonton? Absolutely. The thing is, is that, and that's what I'm trying to understand with people, it's a larger conversation. Alberta okay. is a wonderful place to make money if you're a guy with a toolbox or you've been asked to, to especially relocate. Now, no, there was no part of me that said, let me, li let me leave my city to go to Edmonton for this great, robust social scene. I knew I was coming from a 10, and I thought I would be going to like maybe a 6, a 5, but a two, Devo, a two, <laughs> there was nothing happening in that city. And what made it even more funnier with this is that in nowhere in the article did I say I live in Leduc. But hold on, just so we're clear, that's so, where you were living though, right? Leduc, no, Alberta? Where, I didn't live in Leduc. So where, so were, where, you, were, you where were you living? By Windermere. And how far is that from Edmonton? That's about tw That's in Edmonton. So it's a south, southern part of Edmonton, southern right? Southern part of Edmonton. Yeah. Listen, okay. all I have to say is this. Every city has its charm. Every, but for different people, different Absolutely. priorities in your life right now. And I will tell you this. Yesterday, I only heard in our meeting what happened. And I know Diva threw me under the bus lovingly, respectfully, and said, well, Jackie, Dina didn't even read the article and she had your back. I read the article in its entirety this morning. And I'm going to say, maybe you guys didn't read the article. Oh, no, I read it. Oh, we because read it. Oh, there was three a times. comment. Okay, there, hold on. My turn. Okay. There was a comment where people were saying, well, you know, she should have tested it out. She should have researched. You say in the article, you visited many, many times, three day work trips at a time. A few, not many. I had a, a national few. Role. Multiple. She said a yeah. few. Thank you. Yeah. So no, it was a I've very... been traveling there since 2015. Thank you, Jackie. In your for article, anywhere you said from the three few. to seven days. The few for three, three to seven trip, days at a time. Yeah. So that okay. wasn't just sight unseen. You had much no. experience there. And I think it was very much a cautionary tale to others that you're trying to share that it seemed all great razzle dazzle. But for your life right now in what you need, which is a Carrie sex in the city moment, oh boy. it wasn't for you. You're not exactly dogging the You can't the place. look at Edmonton or Alberta and think it's going to be the same place you're in. In that article, that's I what you said. You that. said you were going there for the dating scene, for a great uh, career move Mar as well, real home. estate. You wanted that larger home. Uh, look, you're not going to get that when you go there. 
That's not what's happening. But she learned that. That's you learned that a very an hard way. And, and remember, when I started this yesterday, I said, Jackie Thomas, you seem like a very, very nice person. I think you made a I bad. Yeah, yeah, and you do seem like that still. Yeah, I think you made a bad decision. And we all make bad that decisions. That's what she shared. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. That but the thing is, that bad decision sounded like exactly. a very pretentious Toronto thing. And that's what the rest of the country jumped on and jumped down your throat for is that. You sounded very Toronto special in the way you put that out there. Is that fair? And as I said earlier, this is entertainment. So a lot of this. But your story. But it's your story. Yeah, we're not using it as entertainment. I understand that. It's your story. Right. Have you ever heard of broken telephone? You could tell a story and it gets crazy. So, like I said when I started this interview, this is a larger conversation. For Do sure. you think I just went there thinking, I'm going to bring Edmonton's Toronto? I never thought that. I wanted a quieter lifestyle, yes. But goddamn mute. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> but mute. Sorry, no, no swear until no after yes. yeah. no 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 it was, I'm sorry. It was <laughs> mute and it just wasn't what I thought it was. And it was just exactly what Dina said. It's just a cautionary tale to let people know That's appreciate fair. where you're from and appreciate what you have. Because the reality is, in this housing crisis, not a lot of people can afford to do what I just did. Fair. There was a penalty. I'm paying for it. Yeah, and that's when you talk about the moving costs and her. And that's what yeah. I said exactly. yesterday when we finished yes. off the convo yeah. was the one thing I really feel bad for is the fact that you had that financial loss during that. Mm -hmm. And that's not cool. You know what I mean? That's why I'm saying if you can fully grasp everything before you do it, it was what you're trying to say. We're saying the same thing. I think we're exactly. saying it we're differently, saying the same thing. but just differently. Jackie, I can't yeah. wait to see you be the ambassador for Cactus Club. <laughs> I hope you get all I'm the commercials. Them. I'm talking them. They there need a reserve booth for you every yes. night after VIP. this. Sorry. Yes, the Jackie Hi, section. Night. Listen, Jackie, you didn't have to do this. I know yes. there's been a lot of stuff on social. We appreciate you coming social on. Social media can be brutal. And, and thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks Jackie. Thank you, guys. Thank Good luck you with everything. The story right, everyone's Jackie. talking about in right? Canada. Jackie, I'll say this very quickly before we go to Tam. There's a lot of cities around this country who say, I don't care what Toronto thinks of us until Toronto says something about them. And then they, get and they got the thinnest skin I've ever seen. If you want to act everybody. like you're big time, act like you're big time. Don't care what other people think because I get a lot of that garbage online from other cities across the country. When Toronto says it, they hate, they hate, they hate, but we're a big time city. Oh. Big time cities don't care what other cities think of you. Let me just Honestly. say this. Every city Honestly. has good people Grow and not up. so nice people. Every cactus has its thorn. Be the um, nice gooey part of the cactus.